Over the past few months and very recently, I've noticed a lot of this kind of equipment being delivered to the northwest corner, which is part of the 4680 battery cell production area of Giga Texas. So let's discuss what these are and why they are important. Now, recently I've been made aware of what these items are and they're DST dehumidifier system components. Now, DST is an East African company. It's a subsidiary to the Swedish company, Saibu Geiken DST. Now the link is at the bottom of the screen. It will also be in the video description as well, but they essentially offer a complete line of desiccant dehumidifier systems that are specifically designed for lithium battery production. Here are some other views of these items being delivered. You can see them in the crates. This one actually had part of the crates opened up so we get a good idea of what the cabinetry looks like. And then here it is with all of the wooden crate material taken off and it's getting ready to be lifted up into the fourth floor of the uh, production cell area of Giga Texas. Now that we know that these are dehumidifier system components being delivered, let's talk about the importance of having a low humidity level in a lithium battery processing facility, such as the 4680 battery cell portion of Giga Texas here. Now, this part of Texas has a high humidity level most of the year, so it's important that they have a very robust system to counter that. And with the expansion of the 4680 battery cell production area here, they need to expand the dehumidifier system, and that is what we are seeing. Now, humidity creates big problems with lithium battery manufacturing because of strong reactions between lithium and moisture. And if they can control the air and moisture content within the facilities, they can avoid many of the negative impacts that humidity has with lithium on battery cell production. Now, most of the time, they need to have a relative humidity of less than 1%. And Giga Texas is slightly different, as we'll talk about uh, in a moment. Uh, the lithium, again, can react with the humidity and it transforms lithium into a hydroxide and hydrogen. And both of these reduce the performance and the durability of the battery. And to avoid all of these moisture problems, this dehumidifier system is installed in production rooms and it's essentially like a clean room with a good ventilation system also to not only ensure a low humidity level, but also a low dust level. And we've also seen industrial dust filtration systems being installed here at Giga Texas as well. This slide gives some additional details about the processes for lithium battery making. And for Giga Texas, there are some specific differences. One of which is the relative humidity level that is required is less than 2%, plus or minus 0.5%. And I've been hearing this from uh, people that are actually working on the production line. They also have uh, the mixing of the basic materials. They have some coating processes. They have the calendaring, which takes the dry electrode material and it presses it into like ribbons that are used for the battery. They have roller slitting machines. They have electrode making machines for the tabless electrode. And they also have the can making process, which puts all the materials into the structure and then closes it off and it makes the battery, when we look at a battery cell, um, what that, uh, that 4680 form factor looks like. This short video clip gives an idea of the process and action. And as we talked about, the humidity levels need to be controlled from the initial mixing all the way through the calendaring or lamination slitting processes. And those devices that we saw will help ensure that happens. This is also critical throughout the tabless, e-fill, and can welding process, and some of that you can see here in the video. Now, in addition to that, it's not just for production, but completed 4680s need to have low levels of humidity. Otherwise, the cell in the high pot, which is the dielectric voltage withstand racks, which is testing, could cause short circuiting. And by having a low relative humidity in the process, it prevents that. So there you have it, a little bit of more information about some of these deliveries, specifically these dehumidifier systems arriving at the 4680 battery cell production. The reason why is that they are enhancing the production capability by expanding the section and eventually we'll have uh, eight lines for the 4680s versus the current four. And also we talked about some of the processes that are involved with making the 4680s and of course the importance of having low humidity. I hope that this 
this information was helpful and puts into context more about what we are seeing being delivered at the site and that you found it helpful.